Hi Libra, Libra Rising, this is your May 2015 General Tarot Psychic Scope. So I'm taping these from Melbourne, I'm on holiday, I've got some work to do up here, and uh, so different environment. So if you want to get a private reading with me, go to www.hypnoule.com. Alternatively, you can also do the one burning question uh, reading for $35 paid to PayPal, and I will send it back to you by email. Or you can um, book in for 60 minutes, 30 minutes, or 90 minutes. So the address is hypnoule at hotmail.com. That's the same for PayPal and for Skype. So let's get straight into your reading. Well, it looks like May is going to be lovely. You've got wonderful balance. Um, there is a strength in this month, which is really going to be feeling, uh, you're feeling like you're on top of your game, and feeling like you finally got the power sorted, you've got your life sorted, and you're feeling like you're finally moving forward. And also moving forward forward with some strong males in your life. Um, for the very first card for the overall tone, we have the um, Six of Cups. Now this is about um, thinking fondly of the past, looking back at the past, looking how far you've come. This is fond memories, this is smiling, this is feeling warm, warm of heart, feeling very strong. Now when I go with the memories and the, and the um, well let's just take this on a parent sense, because health-wise you've got the, uh, the Emperor card who is an older figure, this could be your father. So perhaps your father has got some health issues and so you'll be talking to him about the past, or uh, maybe you've uh, inherited a health issue from your parents and so that's why this is coming up. I also have a strong feeling which I've not had before but for, generally for you this month because that's why I've just said it Libra uh, that we have uh, someone who might be um, strong on their body you know um, limiting their food anorexic bulimics or anything like that they might come to a head uh, in May um, also, it could be um, that you're giving birth this um, this May because this is uh, remembering your childhood and then uh, being strong. But but you've also got the Queen of Pentacles, which is about blossoming, blooming, births, and um, you know the house swelling, all of those different things. So that's your health. Um, now. It could be that you've decided to become a lot more stricter on your health uh, because this is about rules, regulation, uh, power, uh, experiment. Um, this is about you. This has got horns on it though, so Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. Uh, maybe you're getting more grounded. Maybe you're getting outside because the Queen of Pentacles is also about getting out into the open. Um, and maybe this is getting back to playing sports you used to in your past uh, as well. Um, now, in your work, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is stopping thinking. You've got clear expectations and taking a pause before you move forward. This is about you being geared up, ready to go. You're about to start a giant new uh, endeavor, a new investment, you, and you're all ready to go. You've got everything. That you, you're in your suit. You're in your armor. You're taking a fresh breath of air before you move forward. Some of this is over foreign ground. Some of you might be going over to foreign ground. Some of you might be in between two states or two towns. Um, this is research. This is stopping and looking into your investments, looking into how you're going to do your money, looking into whatever it is that you need. This is also, you know, other people might be losing their job, but you're the last man standing. This is about you feeling strong, empowered, and really taking note and taking pause of your career and money-wise dreams and aspirations. So um, thoughtful, prepared, being, uh, you know, getting back to simplicity, getting back to basics. You could be finding that you're working uh, with someone from the past or that, you know, things have come full circle or, or maybe you've got a promotion and you're thinking how far things have come from when you first started. So however that works for you with your dream, uh, dreams, desires, career, money and aspirations, uh, that's down to you. Now at home we've got the Queen of Pentacles, which is blossoming, blooming, getting outside, uh, nurturing, family bliss, smelling the roses, coming uh, after a time of, um, you know, things have been uh, hectic because it's saying stop and smell the roses, really uh, prioritise and really be grateful for what you have. Maybe something will happen where you, f you actually have a priority and really realise how lucky you are. And this is you feeling strong. Um, this is you creating uh, pleasure and context for the future. This is you putting plans into the future. Um, this is, there, there's also, um, 
a bunny on this. So also getting back to what I was saying before, parent. If this is a parent card, you could be, you know, starting to, you know, lay the foundations for perhaps considering children or maybe you find that you're pregnant. So now we're going to go to your uh, love card, which is the Three of Wands. Now, I feel like straight away, that if you've just started seeing someone, uh, there might be somebody else in the pictures, you need to put your, um, you know, make it or break it, you know, really try and grab their attention and move forward. Don't be scared to do so. This could also be that you're choosing between two and there's something that's pulling you more towards one. This could also be you um, taking a stand in your relationship or taking a stand with someone new that you're dating, you know, really setting the grounds, um, groundwork out because this is the overall tone of the whole month. So this person makes you feel young and innocent and fresh. This person's making your heart really um, sing. Uh, this is really feeling good um, and this could be that you know um, you are saying goodbye to your family and moving towards your future with your partner so maybe you're moving into your own home maybe you're moving state towns whatever as a couple and saying goodbye to your past saying goodbye to your past saying goodbye to family and friends whatever that is to you and I will see you next month